So today, Figure released a video of their robot making coffee, as they called it. The reason everyone is excited about this is because this is an end-to-end -end task, meaning that the robot learned to make coffee simply by watching videos of other humans doing it. But I'm a little let down if I'm going to be honest. Last night, Brett Adcock, the CEO of Figure AI, tweeted, We just had an AI breakthrough in our lab. Robotics is about to have its chat GPT moment, and that moment is happening tomorrow. So everyone's freaking out, like, what is this going to be? His tweet gets 2 million views, and then we get the video, and it's just the robot putting a pod in a canister and pressing a button. Now you might say, Jacob, you're being way too negative and you're killing the vibe, but let me show you why my hopes were so high. Here's what Brett Adcock said in an interview a little over a month ago. Uh, we hope to be able to demonstrate fully end to end useful work uh, within the next three to six months in our lab here, fully autonomously. So after seeing Brett's tweet last night, and I remembered this interview where he said they were going to demonstrate useful work fully end to end, I was just expecting a little more than them pressing the button on a Keurig machine. However, I am actually getting more excited about figure AI. As you saw in that interview clip, Brett said three to six months, and it's just been over a month since he said that. So. There was some positive signs in this video, like where the robot corrected itself after making a mistake and was persistent in trying to get the pod into the canister. The one thing that concerns me about this video though is that we don't get any perspective of the robot. Notice how it almost looks like the robot is looking straight ahead. It's not even looking down at what it's doing. For example, when we saw Optimus sorting blocks, Tesla showed us the perspective of the robot and we can see that the robot is actually looking at what it's doing. This is something I would have liked to see in this coffee making demonstration to confirm that what's happening is not programmed. However, I do believe that this is a real video because the employee simply drops the Keurig on the table and drops the pod next to it. I did not see any markers on the table for the employee to know precisely where to place these objects down, so I do think that the robot did this task autonomously. Now Hans Nelson has made some observations about the hands on figures robots. He noticed four identical fingers on each hand. This is good because it simplifies manufacturing, so you're making just one finger rather than four different fingers. Mr. Nelson also noticed three knuckles on each finger, which is like a human, whereas Optimus only has two knuckles. In this case, Optimus will be the winner if it is apparent over time that a humanoid robot only needs two knuckles to operate rather than three, as the best part is no part. If it becomes apparent over time that humanoid robots do need three knuckles like a human, then Tesla will have to add in a third knuckle. Mr. Nelson also felt like figure displayed a good range of motion in all of the fingers and thumbs in this video. While it's clearly not on the level of Optimus as you can see here, the general consensus today seemed that everyone was quite impressed with figure's demonstration. Now, Figure said that this was 10 hours of training to complete this task. To me, that actually does seem like a lot. That would mean that the robot had to watch someone put a pod into a canister like thousands of times before it was able to replicate that action. I mean, Figure's a small company. They're a startup with about 70 employees, so they don't have access to that much compute or resources as a company like Tesla who could probably train this task in less time. And look, Brad Adcock has a history of starting companies and then cashing out, and it's starting to look like Figure AI is becoming one of the most desirable acquisition candidates in America. Which company do you think will be looking to acquire Figure AI? Let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to go make some coffee and I'll talk to you guys later.